Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a makeup look of some description. I think I'm going to go for a pop of like purple or lilac today, I haven't decided. Um, but I have, just to know, I have done my foundation and concealer already. That's because I am testing out a foundation, which either will be up before this video, and if it is I'll link it down below, if not it'll be the next video. And I'm testing out this little sample of the Vapor Organics Atmosphere Soft Focus Foundation. And so far I really like it. The shade isn't quite right as you will notice. Um, but if it wears nicely throughout the day then I am going to get the very fair shade and see what happens. Um, but yeah that's just something to note. So yeah on to today's look. Like I said. Okay so I'm going to start with eyebrows first. I'm going to go in with the Lily Lolo Eyebrow Duo in the shade Dark. Okay, so my eyes are already primed, so I'm going to go in with eyeshadows. I'm taking the Hunsent Pure Pretty Naked palette. I'm going to take the shade um, Flaxseed yeah, flax first on my E40 Hunsent Pure brush. And I'm going to dust this into the crease area. I'm going to take some of Chestnut at the end here on the exact same brush and again kind of go through the crease but also start to focus it on the outer section of the lid as well. Then on a much smaller brush, I'm going to head into the Pretty Naked 2 palette, taking the shade Splendor just here. Like I said, on a slightly smaller brush, and just really pack this onto the outer section of the lid. And then just take the first brush I use just to blend that all together. So I'm going to take the shade Amethyst, which is a beautiful purple shade here, and pack this on the inner section of the lid. So I'm just going to take I'm going to take my Hose Up Your E20 brush for this. And just like I said, pack this on the inner section of the lid. Just like that, again taking the E40 and kind of making sure everything feels nice and well, looks nice and blended. And again, go back in with that brush just to make sure it looks blended. And then I'm going to go back into the Naked 2 palette, taking the shade Vivid, pick this up on another eye shading brush, and just kind of focus it along the upper lash line. It doesn't need to be in a neat, neat manner or anything like that, just to add some definition around the eye. Okay, I'm not putting anything on the lower lash line today. I'm going to go with my PHP Ethical Beauty Mascara. And give my upper lashes a good couple of coats. Okay, moving back to the skin portion. So I'm going to go in with um, some bronzer. And also we have to see how everything kind of glides on and set on this foundation. So I'm going with my Lily Lolo Matte Bronze in the shade Miami Beach. And I just take it on my big powder brush because my blush brush I've kind of thrown away now that I've broken it. So I have to go with this brush instead. And just start building up a nice bronziness to the skin. Just 
I'm going to take this bronzer down my neck because this foundation isn't quite the right shade so I just want to make it a little bit less obvious. Okay so that seems to have glided on really nicely onto the foundation so that's a good sign then for blusher. I'm going to go in with the uh, blusher from the Naked 2 palette which is called Afterglow. Then finally I'm actually going to take the illuminator in the shade as well, it's called Illume and use this to highlight my face. Take some under the brow bone as well. Again, I'm actually going to take some finishing powder here because I am starting to look a little bit shiny again, which doesn't bode well for this foundation. So I'm just going to set it again in the areas where I don't want to look really shiny. Actually, the chin's not looking too bad, it's just the forehead. And then to finish off for lips, I'm going with the Home Sweet Pure Lip Caramel in the shade Rum Nougat. And that's this makeup look complete. I really like it, obviously. Um, I like the pop of purple on because I've just done the upper section, I have done the lower lash side, it doesn't make it a little bit less intense and slightly more wearable, I think, as well. Um, and I'd say those uh, bronzer and stuff apply beautifully on this foundation. It's like this look in general, it's quite a fun, not too over the board look. So um, I really hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.